a documentary focused on SM Entertainment's founder, Lee Soo Man, is underway and Amazon Prime Video is in charge of the production. Continue reading to know what to expect in the upcoming content. On November 28th local time, Deadline released an exclusive report stating that production company This Machine is preparing to create a feature documentary about SMS founder and it will be titled Lee Soo Man, The King of K-Pop. The documentary will chronicle the enthralling life of a bold visionary whose work put his country on the map, sparked a global movement, and continues to define an era. Lee Su Man is then described as a futurist and visionary similar to Apple co-founder Steve Jobs who has taken over global entertainment with his original creation. Filmmaker Ting Pu, who will direct the Lee Su Man documentary, was the co-director of the 2021 documentary Val about actor Val Kilmer, and editor of the Oscar-winning film Heaven as a Traffic Jam on the 405. Pu said, I couldn't be more excited to work with the incredible teams at Prime Video and this machine to tell the story of one of the most influential creators of our time. Lee Su Man is a modern-day Willy Wonka whose story will resonate with dreamers everywhere. Rihanna O, oh, Amazon Studios' head of documentary features, commented, We are thrilled to reunite with Ting Pu to capture Lee Su Man's dynamic career and undeniable influence on K-pop and the music industry as a whole. She continued that they are confident the incredibly talented filmmaking team will present an emotional and compelling documentary that the Prime Video customers across the globe will fall in love with. Lee Soo Man debuted as a singer in 1972. Specifically, he began his career as a member of the band April and May. However, he left the group due to health reasons. He then became a member of the Korean indie band Sand Pebbles. While carrying out activities as a musician, he was also working as a radio DJ and TV host during the time. In 1980, Lee formed his own band, Lee Soo Man and the 365 Days, but he was discouraged to build a career in the Korean music industry by the media censorship policies. He later left Korea for the United States and when he returned, he established his own entertainment agency in 1989 called SM Studio, which was rebranded as SM Entertainment in 1995. Since then, SM has introduced us to artists such as HOT, SES, Xinhua TVXQ, Super Junior, Girls' Generation, Shiny, F, X, XO, Red Velvet, NCT, ESPA, and more. SM also has a food and beverage division and its SMCC venture is considered the biggest variety show content creator in Korea. Meanwhile, there is no target release date yet, but the Lee Soo Man documentary will be made available for viewing through Prime Video in a total of 240 countries all over the world. In other news, SM Entertainment announced last September that Lee Soo Man has expressed his desire to end the production service contract of his agency, like planning, with SM at the end of this year. Like planning, the biggest shareholder of SM Entertainment, is in charge of music consulting and producing SM artists' albums. SM outsourced its production requirements to like planning and paid it billions of dollars in royalties every year. For more K-pop news, keep your tabs open here at K-pop Stars.